Hi guys, it's Omer from MMOHut.com. I'm the first impression gameplay video for Rakion Chaos Force. Free to play 3D fantasy action MMO published by Softnix. The same guys who developed Gunbound and Wolf Team. Now I'll spend about 5 10 minutes running around checking the game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Rakion or just learn more about it, check out our full review on the link below. And here we go, I'm already logged in over here. We have Canada, USA servers, Vietnam, and Philippine servers being really popular, with the rest unfortunately very empty. So let's go ahead and go in Canada slash USA. Let's go ahead and make our new character here. So we have four playable characters. I lied, I can't count. We got five playable characters over here. From Ninja, Mage, Blacksmith, Archer, and Knight. So what's more powerful, Blacksmith or Knight? Apparently Blacksmith are pretty much all around better. What the heck? Just look at this pipe, look at this chart over here. It looks like a Blacksmith is just superior in every single way. There's gotta be something wrong. Or this chart is just not accurate. Because they just can't be better overall. Anyway, this is just, just ignore this chart, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and play Ninja this time because they're speedy. And I wanna play a speedy character. They're the fastest and the quickness, quick, you know. They're the fastest and, and quickness female. What the? Okay, the translations are absolutely terrible. But let's go. I can't use the same as my account ID. Let's slap another Y on there and let's go. Let's go on. Uh, there's a tutorial as well that's optional. I strongly recommend you guys skip it because it's really long and you get nothing for it. So just go ahead and skip that. And let's go ahead and find one of these games and join. But let's go ahead and create a game first so we see what game modes the game has to offer. Stage mode, battle mode, clan, mode, uh, clan war, and ladder. So there's some interesting game modes here. Let's go to battle mode though. So we can see the various games over here, various maps. So the game does a lot of, wow, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 different maps. That's crazy. And each map supports various different game modes, but let's get out of here. The game actually has a total of six game modes, ranging from free-for-all combat in the battle modes to the more interesting stage modes, which uh, pit players against endless waves of monsters to see how well they do. It's just really interesting different game modes, but the most popular, of course, is the actual deathmatch mode you know, between players. Although the regular modes, uh, PvE modes, are great for farming XP and money. So let's go and click enter over here. The game actually has a built-in uh, anti-lag feature, so if people are too high ping, you actually can't even join the game, which it kind of helps against fighting against the lag. I got kicked because I didn't do anything fast enough, so let's go back in here and click enter. It's only a 4v3 right now, it's one of the smaller rooms, but it seems like you can support uh, up to, wow, uh, 3, 4, 5, 10v10 maximum players. And as we load, we can see our various controls. The game is action-oriented, and it is a room-based fantasy MMO. It's actually the only game like you know, of its kind, really. So we'll see how it is when we get in. It's, it actually reminds me of Fancy Earth Zero, except without the big, big PvP elements, but rather just in small arenas. So I just spawned over here. One problem I had with the game right away, it took me a while to get it working on Windows 7. Oh my god, we, we lost. We lost because I wasn't in here. Alright, that's why we lost. So we'll wait for the new round to begin. So the game did take a while for me to get working on Windows 7. Windows 7 just apparently sucks for these games, I guess, these older games. This game was developed back in 2005. We got a mage over here and I gotta kill him. Look how fast he is. He is on another team because his name is in red and I need to kill him. I got him in this corner. So you can see a little bit of lag in the game. It's not terrible, but again, Windows. this really only affects you if you're on Windows 7. I feel that Vista was fine. I played this game a long time ago on XP and I had no lag. So I'm ripping this guy over here. As a mage, he's got to be casting spells on me, but it's pretty difficult without anyone else helping him. There you go, There's, he's got somebody here. You can see they have better equipment than I do, though. That chick over there is an assassin as well, but she has actually some nice equipment. I just made these characters, so I got some lame stuff. Uh-oh, she got a shot over there. And I can switch to my ranged weapon as well, if I remember which key does it, if I was paying attention to that lo the loading screen. And I'm about to get ripped, 2v1 style. But if I jump enough, they might not be able to hit me. Keep jumping, keep jumping into the wall. Oh, didn't, didn't quite work as I wanted it to, but... I'm gonna blame that one on the 2v1. The guy's name is Freeze to Hell, and he was casting some... free spells on me. So, this is a Counter-Strike style game, and when you die, you actually don't respawn right away. And the game is broken down into various different rounds. You know, whichever team is left standing usually ends up winning. This is probably the most popular game mode. There's a free-for-all as well, but I see this game being played the most. All characters actually have the two attack modes, range and uh, melee. And I, I remember now, I believe Q, not even 100% sure, but Q switches between range and melee. And as an assassin though, I feel I'm better off using my melee weapons, but at a time like that, I was kind of screwed. I probably should have ran away. 
And I'm level 1 as well. Everyone here is higher level than I am, so I can blame that on my defeat. You can even transform into uh, various monsters as you're, you know, as you get some kills and your rage bar fills up. And they can add you to getting some neat little kills. Combos vary depending on which of the classes you picked. I know assassins are the most combos, but not the, no, each hit is not the most powerful. So that person just transformed over there. Let's see what he can do. The guy's name is Shard, whatever it is. And this guy's gonna die. I know why he's wasting his time. Let's see the stats over here. So we got one guy left standing versus three enemies that are all higher level. He's level six actually, but what is he doing? Oh, we lost. There we go. Round lost. Alright, we got we gotta win this next one. So it seems like they got one really good player. That shard player, he's got five kills. Everyone else has nothing. We got one guy on our team with one kill, so this is this is not gonna go well. Let's pull out my bow and we'll shoot some stuff. Oh, these are my uh, I can throw like shurikens or something. The game is skill oriented because you, you know there's no auto aim. You don't just simply just keep slapping one key. Can I break this? I think I can. I think I saw somebody else break this earlier. So I'm gonna try. I got a 27 hit combo. Look at that. Actually, I gotta switch back to my melee weapons. And I'm gonna try beating with my, my sword over here. Let's see if we can break this down. So apparently, yeah, we can definitely break that. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh. My biggest complaint with the game, it is unique, it's fun, fa you know, fast-paced, action-oriented gameplay. But if you're on Windows 7, it just doesn't work well. Not at all. So let's go down here. And the game really hasn't seen that many updates in a while. I mean, I think the ninja is the newest class in the game, and other than that, there's been very little change. You will shift the block, so if enemy is swinging at you, your best bet is to block the... I just blocked the guy's hit, but he is ripping me. Got him on the floor, though. The trick is not to stand next to somebody when they fall down, because when they get up, they just swing all around them. I can right-click as well for a more powerful attack, but it has to charge up and leave me vulnerable. There's obviously a lot of strategy involved, but I feel like... I'm not liking the lag. That's my biggest problem. The lag is killing me. And it's 3v5 uh, right now. Or is that 3v6? Nope, 3v5. That one guy gets, one guy has 8 kills. Uh, he probably has some ridiculous cash shop items. And this is one of those games where if you have cash shop items, you're going to be a little bit overpowered. Because the cash shop items are the most powerful weapons and equipment in the game. So if you keep playing the game, you can eventually access more equipment from just the money you earn. But the cash shop does imbalance the game. I really don't have a problem with cash shops and a lot of MMORPGs because if somebody levels up faster than I am, you know, in games like Maple Story, the cash shop gives you items like, you know, two times XP, two times drop. It doesn't really bother me because if, if they level up faster, it has no impact on me because there's really no PvP in Maple Story either. So who cares if they level up faster? Because you know, it doesn't affect me at all. But in games like Combat Arms and Rakion over here, and pretty much every MMO, if somebody just has a faster car than you in a racing game more powerful weapon, better equipment, it just it just really creates a lot of imbalances and just makes things really annoying. And it can take a, it can take the fun away from it. But even in games like Combat Arms, I tend to hold my own. Even if somebody's using some cash shop weapons, I can usually win. Here though, there's a lot of skill involved and if you're a really good player, it doesn't matter at all what the other guy has, you'll still beat him. But it's a little discouraging for a level 1 character like me to play against higher level people and people with better equipment. But this guy I'm doing fine against 1v1. So, uh, not too bad. And this is really the first time I've played Rakion in ages. This game is quite old. That guy's swinging and missing. Let's see if I can kill this guy. If I get one kill, I'll be happy. Knocked him down. Where'd I go? Look at that. Got him down again. We actually won this time, so go us. Win, 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 win. Remote does not have a kill. I did not quite get him down. I'm not even sure what game mode this is. But the game does a very different game mode, you can try them all out. There's a small bar in the bottom right, you see that? When that fills up, I can do my rage mode, I'll be able to hit for more damage and be more powerful. So I'm gonna chill over here, I guess I'll break this down this time. Let's see how this is. This is the Golem War game mode, I guess. I'm not even sure which mode this is, so... I should play something more straightforward like Team Deathmatch. Let's see if zoom in my character. Maybe we can get a good angle. Oh yeah, there we go. While I wait to break this wall down. Anyway, guys, I am running out of time. If you guys do want to play Rackdown or just learn more about it, check it out full review on the link below. Later, guys.